Hello plus 2 students I am Ruchita Sharma lecturer in English GSSS Berthi Today we shall continue to read the lesson Deep Water by William Douglas Students what do you do when you are overpowered with fear what are your small or big fears have you identified your fears do you know that there are so many ways in which we can conquer our fears do you know that we can win over our fears by our sheer grit and courage in part 3 today we shall read how the fear of water obsessed and possessed william douglas he survived death by drowning in the ymca pool but was absolutely distressed physically and mentally for weeks together students before we read part 3 let's ponder over today's learning outcomes to hone our reading and listening skills to comprehend part 3 and connect it with the previous reading passages of deep water to learn new vocabulary and its usage to be able to answer all questions based on this reading you students now listen to part 3 beginning with the phrase the next i remember to the phrase joy of canoeing boating and swimming on pages 27 28 the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting the chap that threw me in was saying but i was only fooling someone said the kid nearly died but be all right now let's carry him to the locker room several hours later i walked home i was weak and trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed i couldn't eat that night for days a haunting fear was in my heart the slightest exertion upset me making me wobbly in the knees and sick to my stomach i never went back to the pool i feared water I avoided it whenever I could. A few years later, when I came to know the waters of the Cascades, I wanted to get into them. And whenever I did, whether I was wading the Titan or bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the goat rocks, the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back. It would take possession of me completely. My legs would become paralyzed. I see horror would grab my heart this handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in canoes and mine lakes fishing for landlocked salmon bass fishing in new hampshire trout fishing on the deschutes and metolius in oregon fishing for salmon on on the columbia at bumping lake in the cascades wherever i went the haunting fear of the water followed me it ruined my fishing trips deprived me of the joy of canoeing boating and swimming so students from the reading of this part we have come to know that william douglas was greatly upset by his misadventure at the ymca pool he felt shaky in his knees and sick to his stomach his heart was crippled with a haunting fear of water now he was even more miserable because this fear prevented douglas from enjoying all the sports and other activities related to water his native place was replete with watery spots like lakes rivers waterfalls creeks and ponds sadly he realized that he won't be able to enjoy picnics and excursions to those places he will not be able to go swimming 
boating or fishing there because of his innate fear of water he felt he was being deprived of so much joy and fulfillment which water related activities could give him students after this analytical check on the passage part 3 we will now continue to check for new words the first is chap chap means fellow uh, used for a person informally or casually or in a fl- friendly way if we use this word chap in a sentence it will be like this that chap in the fo- football team is my classmate next word is locker room a room with safes or cupboards in school or college office or club it is used to keep people's belongings under lock and key next word haunting fear a fear that keeps coming back i have a haunting fear of snakes next phrase slightest exertion this phrase means the least hard work or exercise usage in a sentence the fever left my mother to start trembling after the least exertion or after the slightest exertion next word is wobbly w o b l y which means shaky weak feeble the old man felt wobbly in his knees next word is seized s e i z e d which means catch hold of or grab i seized the rope to stop myself from falling from the balcony now students it is time to go through main questions related to this part of deep water question why was douglas determined to get over his fear of water the answer is douglas was determined to get over his fear of water because he wanted to enjoy activities related to water like swimming canoeing boating diving and fishing there were so many water spots around his native place it was replete with rivers lakes ponds cascades and creeks he could not avoid being in them thus douglas knew that it is very important for him to learn to swim and remove his fear of water this way only he would be able to go on picnics and excursions to the nearby rivers ponds waterfalls pools and beaches and be joyful students now for question number 2 and the question is why did douglas attract our attention to his childhood fear of water what 
egged him on to get over this fear? The answer is Douglas shares his childhood experience with the readers to show how a problem can magnify itself in us how a problem can make our life miserable he shows the reader through his example that it is important to face our fears rather than hide them or subdue them there is ultimate joy after conquering our fears the students in today's lesson we learned about the different ways in which william douglas was affected by the misadventure at ymca pool in which he almost drowned now douglas became physically and mentally weak he was so much gripped by the fear of water that he completely avoided water wherever he could similarly we also read we also read how mm, finally he found himself surrounded by watery spots in his native village it was natural that he was tempted by canoes on mine lakes fishing trips for salmon bass or trout which he could not take made him miserable his fear ruined his excursions excursions and picnics he was being deprived of all joy that comes to a person when he is canoeing boating or swimming students this part as we see focuses on william douglas's feeling of incapability of enjoyment in water due to his haunting fear of being drowned vidyarthiyo part 3 mein aaj humne padha ki william douglas apne andar virajhe hue pani ke dar ke karan pani se judi kisi bhi gatividhi jaise nauka vihar mchli ka shikar ya tairaki ka anand nahi le pa rahe the unhe pani mein doob jane ka dar khaye jata tha ve pani ke bhitar jana to chahte the parantu why am ca के तरण ताल में जिस तरह से भय ने उन्हें जकड़ा था वही डर लौट आता और उनके शरीर उनका शरीर डर से अकड़ जाता था सालों तक वे पानी से भयभीत होकर जीवन जीते रहे द स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पार्ट थ्री we find that douglas has very aptly used a first person account to describe how a simple fear can ruin our whole life and overpower us douglas has made a psychological analysis of his fear this allows the reader to go along with the feelings of william douglas and the readers clearly understand the gravity of his situation thus students in this way our reading outcomes for today are achieved be prepared for the last part that is part 4 of deep water by william douglas the next time god bless and take care